Good evening, you're watching Middle Eye with me, Navedna Prabhu. Starting off with breaking news that's coming in from Milan, Italy. Massive explosion in Milan being reported. Several vehicles gutted in fire. Reports suggest a parked van exploded. These are the visuals that you are seeing of uh, this incident that is uh, transpiring in Milan. My colleague Pradeep joins me live on the broadcast for more input. Pradeep, what more can you tell us? We can see these visuals of the fire being engulfed in this particular section. Where has this been reported in Italy and uh, what have they been able to ascertain so far? See, Milan is one of the known city in Italy. There has been a powerful explosion. What we came to know that the explosion was inside a uh, van and because of which the other vehicles that were parked nearby, they caught fire. And right now, the police has read the response. They have encircled the area and they are not allowing people to come nearby. It's not clear what kind of exposure it was, what led to the blast inside this van. Because if we talk about the Milan city, it's one of the urbanized cities then in Italy. It's known for its architecture and it's also home to Inuda Vinci's last supper basis. So, it's a, it's a, uh, any given point of time, you'll find large number of theater tourists in this region. So, there have been many people here, but so far, nobody injured, no casualties reported. The police is there on spot, they are they have fought in this area, nobody's allowed to go nearby. But you can see, as in the vigil, the fire players have engulfed most of the uh, vehicles that were parked near this van because this van, all of the sudden, there was an explosion in the van that under the whole area. It shook almost the entire locality of the building, shook it, created a panic among the people. And they came rushing out of the uh, buildings. And immediately after that, we saw that uh, how uh, the nearby vehicle that were parked were closer to that van, uh, they caught fire. And the fire players, as you can see on screen, that clearly indicates what has been the situation there was done. The police and the other security agencies, they have been there on spot, they have started investigation to look into the matter of what uh, led to the class, whether the terror-related incident, nothing can be said right now because they haven't proved out anything because they'll be properly investigating uh, this matter. We have seen that in the past also there have been several attacks by the terrorists in the European city. So this time also, uh, there is an attack here, so they are looking into this matter and the investigation in this particular case uh, is also on. Pradeep, just a quick follow-up question. You are right, we'll have to wait for more details to emerge. But if you could just talk to us about these visuals that are coming in. Of course, we can see the footage of uh, high plumes of black smoke. We also understand that firefighters are on the scene as well. We're just talking about these visuals that are coming in. Let's see, if you look at these visuals, you can see, as you rightly said, the smoke billowing out, fire clear can be seen, that many of the vehicles are caught fire because there was shot well back, there was an explosion inside of one of the vans. Because of the explosions, the vehicles that were parked nearby, they caught fire. And the uh, black plumes of uh, smoke can be seen rising, the smoke blowing out. Immediately after that, the firefighters of the spot area has been gotten. They are trying to uh, prevent the fire from further spreading because there are nearby buildings also. As I said earlier, Milan is a city that is a highly organized city. It's known for its architecture and a large number of tourists often visit this place. Uh, so right now, the area has been cordoned. Firefighters are um, trying to ensure that fire do not spread to fire firms, do not spread to other buildings uh, nearby. So they're trying to control fire. So they are at their best, trying their level best to ensure that fire is extinguished at all. Years. So they are trying their level best to extinguish fire. And the security agencies are investigating. They're trying to find out what led to this explosion. Right, uh, Pradeep, as you're pointing out, we can see those uh, visuals as well of the explosion in the heart of Milan. Um, but we're also picking up that this is being reported in northern Italy. Is that the case? All right, so uh, the visual that we're getting for you of this breaking story is from Milan, Italy, where several vehicles are in flames in the center of Milan. Uh, what we know so far is that it is being reported from northern Italy after an explosion, possibly from a van, is uh, the latest that we are uh, picking up. My colleague uh, Rishabh joins me on the broadcast over the phone lines. Rishabh, good evening. What else can you tell us? We do understand no casualties have been reported so far, but what are the details that we're picking up as far as this incident is concerned? right now in Milan city of Italy in the central commercial district a van parked in a 
busy parking uh, area exploded into flames, leaving the cars parked alongside also burning down. As of now, the authorities have not confirmed whether it was a terror attack or a mishap. Uh, and at this point, we cannot even rule out a uh, terror uh, angle to the whole explosion. As of now, casualty numbers have not been confirmed by the administration there, but we'll have to wait for that. But the sketchy details that have come in as of now, that in the central commercial district of Milan, a parked van exploded, leaving uh, a dozen uh, of other cars into flames. As of now, the casualty numbers, as I mentioned, has not come in. We'll have to wait to understand what exactly led to the blast. Uh, was it a terror uh, attack or was it a mishap in Milan, Italy? Right, Rishabh, as you speak about those initial details that we're getting, if you could just talk to us about the visuals that we're showing our viewers as well on the screens. of uh, We can see, of course, massive fire that is, of course, engulfed, like you said, um, lots of vehicles as well. Talk to us on that front. The vehicle that was a white colour van that was parked in coming from Milan, uh, the vehicle that was a white colour van where it was parked in a busy parking lot of uh, Central Commercial District exploded. As of now, uh, there is no clarity whether it was a mishap or a terror, uh, terror angle to it. So we'll have to wait for that. But the uh, intensity of the blast was such that around 12 to 15 cars, uh, cars that were parked around this uh, vehicle in question burned down after the explosion. As of now, the administration has not clarified on the casualty figures. But uh, given the intensity of the blast, that also can not be ruled out as of now. Uh, given the situation right now in Europe, we have, where, where we have seen uh, different terror attacks in different parts of uh, Eastern and Western Europe, uh, a terror angle at this point cannot be ruled out. It is a matter of investigation now to understand whether it was a targeted explosion or a mishap because uh, unverified report also suggests that it could be because of the blast in the oxygen cylinder that was inside the van. So we'll have to wait for things to understand how uh, what uh, unfolded on the streets of Milan and what led to this explosion. Right, Rishabh, uh, stay with us as you break down those important points. I do understand we have our colleague Pradeep also with us uh, on the story. Pradeep, coming to you, we're also picking up that there is a first witness who's spoken about the fact that the reason for this could have been an oxygen tank that blew up. Are you picking up anything on that front? Yes, yeah, of course, the matter of investigation, as my colleague Richard is to think, because there was an oxygen cylinder inside, maybe because of that, because everybody knows. Uh, that uh, uh, if there is an oxygen cylinder, that can lead to a blast also. Um, but uh, uh, right now, the investigation is on, as rightly said by Richard, because in the past also, we have seen that how terror outfits have been targeting many of the European countries, including uh, we have seen the several attacks in the past in London, Germany, France, and other areas. So, so police and the security agencies, they will be investigating the matter. Right now, the focus is totally to prevent the fireplace from spreading through nearby buildings, because it's a very, uh, uh, just a parking lot. There are lots of buildings there, so... Uh, and uh, this is uh, considered to be one of the congested areas. Because if we talk about the Milan city, it's one of the organized cities known for its architecture. At any given point of time, there are a lot, a lot, a lot many uh, tourists also visiting this place. And it's also said to be the home to Leonardo Vinci's uh, uh, painting, last, The Last Supper. Uh, so it's, it's a quite a very historical importance also. And then there's a cathedral also. So that's one of the reasons that it always attracts a large number of people from different parts of the world. But today, what really happens? There was a van, there was a big explosion, it hung up the area, because of it, almost the building here by shoot. People got panicked, they came out, the moment they came out, they saw uh, the smoke blowing out, many of the vehicles that were parked nearby, they had caught fire, and the fire first could be seen. And immediately after that, the fire fights were actually spot, the area was properly caught. So the first focus was to prevent this fire from further spreading, because they are working hard to ensure that fire is extinguished at all, because it's a busy street, a uh, parking lot, so they are trying to prevent the building from catching fire. So this is that our security agency have already caught in this area. The uh, different teams are there. They are trying to find out what really happened. As I just said, there was an official flavor. That can be possibility of attack, but then terror angle can't be ruled out, keeping the view of the, the attacks in the past, because they will be investigating everything. Uh, that whether it was a mishap, whether it was a terror angle associated with the it, but it will take some time. It will be too early to speculate anything on this. Uh, I will not be doing that. But yes, all I can say right now, 
It's a panic situation. It's a, it's a very tense situation there on the ground uh, right now. Uh, the five fighters are trying to level this to somehow extinguish and douse that fire flare and prevent the fire flare from spreading to nearby uh, building. As I said earlier, why is a matter of serious concern? Because we have seen that there have been terror attacks in the past also. Sport intelligence will try to find out here whether uh, there is a terror angle to this attack or not. They are trying to look into it. So right now, investigation in this case are on. But right now, firefighters are there. They are trying to extinguish fire because we saw that shot while back. There was an explosion inside the van. Then, because of which, the many of the cars and the vehicles parked nearby, they caught fire. The people who were sitting inside the buildings, they came out the moment. It uh, thundered that area, almost it shook the entire area. It was such a massive explosion. Immediately after that, they could see the black plumes of smoke rising, smoke billowing out. Many of the uh, vehicles there on fire. And uh, within no time, uh, those firefighters reached the spot. And right now, they're trying to extinguish fire. So it's a matter of concern. Uh, same situation, they're on ground, and uh, let's see what will really come out of it, because I will not be speculating much on this, but yes, it's, uh, they will be looking into all angles, because they will not keep any stone unturned, keeping Red, the view. Red, Pradeep, I'd have to interject you. Please stay with me. I'm going to